Let's talk about the breakdown voltage of a lubricant. So have you ever thought about what lightning actually is? It's not just kind of electricity in the sky, it's not just electrons in the sky. It's something very, very specific. It's a specific phenomenon. And we can kind of simulate it with lubricants. So first of all, we'll go back to our closed circuit with a, a liquid in the middle of it. So what exactly happens? Well, if that liquid were a metal, like we talked about with mercury being conductive, then that is a closed loop and electrons can travel around the loop um, and the voltage is kind of the, the thing giving it energy for those electrons to, to make their way around the circuit. But if we have something that's non-conductive, like pure water or a lubricant, for example, that effectively breaks the loop and it means that electrons can't travel around. But if we increase the voltage, what are we doing? We're kind of stressing out the lubricant in some ways. And the, one of the best analogies for it in a mechanical sense is almost like a hydroelectric dam. So in the instance where we have a column of water, there's a certain amount of pressure head, right? And you can think of that as being almost like the voltage. As we start to increase the, the height of that water column, we're now exerting a lot more pressure on the bottom. And eventually something's going to give. Eventually, you know, that's going to break, right? Because it's exerting more pressure on the bottom of the column of fluid. Now we can make a, a couple more analogies here. For example, the resistance would be like the diameter of the pipe. And if we increase the diameter of the pipe, there would be less resistance. Okay, so going back to our, our circuit, which is incomplete at the moment, we can increase the voltage and then we can increase the voltage again. And if we give it enough potential energy, eventually we can actually close the circuit and get electrons to flow around. And this is what's called the breakdown voltage, right? So basically all things, whether they're lubricants or even air, for example, it all, it has a breakdown voltage. So what's exactly going on at an atomic level? Well, the easiest way to understand this is to understand lightning. So, uh, you know, water droplets and basically the clouds accumulate charge over time. They accumulate negative charge. And what this means is that there is some potential energy because the ground is, you know, it's, it's the electrical ground, right? And so we now have a voltage drop between the clouds and between the Earth's surface. And eventually what happens is we reach the air's breakdown voltage and now the electrons are able to jump the gap. We also use this in consumer electronics. Now let's take a little bit more of a detailed look. So as we accumulate more charge in the clouds, we increase the electric field between the clouds and between the ground. What is actually going on at a molecular level? Okay. Let's look at the, the air molecules. Now, I realize that nitrogen exists as N2. I'm just going to simplify it into a single atom of nitrogen for simplicity's sake. So we have a positive charge of seven at the nucleus, and then we have electrons which, which exist in orbitals around the nitrogen. And remember, nitrogen is what makes up about 70% of air. If we put a voltage drop across this atom, right? So we have negative on one side and positive on the other side. If we can increase that voltage enough, eventually one of those loosely held um, electrons is going to release, right? So if we can put enough of a differential across that atom, eventually it what we call ionizes, right? And it loses an electron. Now what you get is this chain reaction where that electron, because it's now traveling in an electric field very fast, it's attractive to the positive electrode, which is the ground. Um, what it's doing is it has a lot of kinetic energy now. And so if it bombards into another electron, it can knock it loose. Remember, they, they all at this point are sort of on, on edge because of the, the potential uh, between the, the clouds and the ground. And eventually what you get is this, what is called an electron cascade. And that's really what lightning is. It's air reaching its breakdown voltage. So the air kind of ionizes and releases all these electrons into the ground. And that's how we kind of uh, net out the charge between the clouds and the ground. So the same thing happens in lubricants, right? Lubricants don't want to conduct electricity in all circumstances. So eventually, if you keep increasing the potential energy of the system, right? So you keep increasing the voltage, 
what's going to happen is that there's so much charge accumulates at one end and there's such a huge voltage drop across the system that eventually it reaches the breakdown voltage and it closes the circuit and it enables electrons to flow through the lubricant. So that's what breakdown voltage is.